All right, guys, so uh, this is the other here. tonight we're going to start working on this. Uh, my wife's 99 blazer there, guys. Uh, she hit a deer with it uh, back in the summer. And I got a little extra time here. Um, just make a short video here of what uh, what all's got to be done, guys. Quite a bit there. Uh, did quite a bit of damage here to the front, as you can see. Uh, didn't really do much damage to the bumper. Uh, never uh, never kicked the airbags off. And... Uh, Never bent the frame or anything like that, guys. Uh, uh, this is the second time that this truck been... Uh, the first accident she had... Uh, she hit... Ran off the road or something, and and uh, it... It didn't do a lot of damage. All it did was basically put this dent right here in the bumper. This was from her first wreck which was several years ago, quite a few years ago, and uh, it put, it dented this hood a little bit, not bad at all, and then it also uh, put a crack in the windshield uh, from when the sign come off and it hit the windshield. Um, she hit a little sign or something and uh, ran off to the edge of the road and it kind of threw her and then uh, she ended up hitting like a little stop sign or something like that and it like i said it put a dent here and it just dented the hood just just a little bit not bad at all and then it cracked the windshield and the insurance company uh totaled the thing out and uh i can't remember what the miles was on it at that time but we had uh Bought the truck back for six hundred dollars, and she drove it for several more years before this accident happened, which was a deer. Uh, she was going to work. Uh, this was back when uh, we were getting a lot of smoke down, coming down from Canada, and uh, it was driving them deer kind of crazy around our area here. There was uh, deer running everywhere. Uh, every time you turn around, there was deer, deer on the run, like it was getting hunted or something, and uh, it was on them real, real fall. It looked like foggy days, but it was actually you could smell the smoke uh, when they had them big fires up in Canada. And uh, she was going between on a country road uh, between two big cornfields, and uh, the deer just jumped right out in front of her. And she said, when it hit, it just hit here in the front and it was a pretty tall deer and uh most of its weight went right into this area right here guys and uh she didn't she never did see the deer i guess the deer kept on going or something but uh as you can see guys it did a lot of damage to this uh, uh well i mean these vehicles the the metal and stuff is not real not real heavy gauge metal like they used to use in the old days. So, I mean, if you hit something at 30, 40 mile an hour like that, guys, you're going to do quite a bit of damage. But, uh, anyways, guys, I'm going to try to get this thing back up and going again. Uh, I picked up most of the parts uh, off of Marketplace. I found people that were scrapping out there or they were uh, selling parts off their uh, S10 S10 pickups and blazers, and uh, I ended up getting uh, a fairly decent uh, radiator here, and then I got this core support. It's already got the uh, AC condenser in it, so we got that and the battery tray, and uh, also the hood back there, guys. I picked up another hood, and then also uh, the headlights and the... Uh, front plastic piece here the grill i got that and uh i think i already have uh the uh a set of those uh turn signal lights i got i already got a set of those somewhere else because i took some out of a 
I think it was my uh, ZR2 and put the clear ones in there, so I'm pretty sure I still got those. But, uh, so I mean, this truck, it's got some rust on it. It's got some surface rust, definitely, which I would like to fix sometime if, if I get this thing back up and going. Uh, because we just, just before she got into this wreck, guys, I put new control arms on it. And we just had new tires put on it and had the front end aligned. And then also had the transfer case, uh, had a new transfer case put in it. And uh, I think that's about it. But this truck does have a lot of miles on it. Uh, we're, I think, around 384,000 miles on this vehicle. But it still run good. And the transmission was good on it. And uh, so I figure I got some extra time here. Not a whole lot of work going on right now. So I'm going to go ahead and start tearing into this thing, guys. And I think... Like I said, I think I might be able to get this back up and on the road again, guys. I'm going to uh, raise this hood up here. And uh, when she wrecked this thing, she was down not too far, not too far from home. So, because it did take the radiator out, guys. As you can see, it's got the... Uh, this is all busted here, and I got, I ended up getting all that. Uh, I think we got less than, uh, I think around two or three hundred dollars I got so far. Uh, if I don't have to get anything else, I'm looking at probably about three hundred dollars of getting this thing back up and, and running again. So, um, hopefully I can get it back up and going again. But, uh, anyways, it shoved the fan that fan won't even hardly turn and uh she got it back home here so we didn't have to use a tow a tow service and it never got hot on her it was still when she got it home here it was still leaking out antifreeze so it didn't uh uh she didn't overheat the motor so i'm not too worried about that and i have started it up a few times and uh it the motor's fine in it so but it did do a lot of damage right in here, guys. I mean, this all this here's got to be replaced. And uh, I'm going to try to tear all this out. And uh, this here, I'm not sure about this fender yet because it did uh, bend that pretty good. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to straighten that out or not. Uh, we'll have to see. I may have to put a new fender on there. I'm not sure. This side... This fender here got dented. It's bent too, as you can see from when it hit. I'll have to see if I can straighten them fenders out. If not, I may have to put new fenders on it. So I'm hoping I don't have to do that. But we'll see what happens anyways, guys. Hopefully I can get this back up and running uh, because it will make a good winter vehicle yet. It's four-wheel drive. And uh, I don't know if I will how much work i'm going to do to this body i mean it needs some body work and it could and it's going to need another uh, a different paint job i'm not sure what i'm going to do on that yet so but anyways guys i thought i'd throw that out there uh let some people know that uh you know if you find something like this you might be able to you know, if you find something wrecked like this, it's not too bad to fix. Not going to cost you a lot of money. Going to make you a good winter vehicle. Uh, like this one, I know, I know how this has been taken care of because I've always kept all the maintenance up on it really good. So, like the transmission fluid change and, uh, you know, kept the engine oil and all that stuff. Uh, kept everything nice and, nice and well maintained on it, so... Uh, that's the reason this vehicle has as many miles on it as it does is because uh, if you do maintain them really good I mean you can get you can get good miles out of one of these 4.3 liter uh, uh, Chevrolets uh, it's been a really good motor so 
Uh, anyways, guys, I thought I'd throw that out there, and uh, I guess that will wrap it up on this video. And we'll come out with another video there uh, once I get her back together and back on the road again there, guys.